Hi, my name's CP, and I'm a recovering toolbox addict. Now, if you're like me, you might need to recover, or you might need some help with your toolbox addiction too. So, I'm going to go over a few examples so that you know what exactly it looks like if you know you're a toolbox addict, okay? So, just come along with me, okay? We're going to go check it out and do a couple things here and show you what it's like. Oh, baby, I see you got a little dirt on you. Oh, don't worry. Get off me, fool. Get off my toolbox, fly! Get back! Stay away from my toolbox! Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I didn't mean to let that fly land on you. I know you're looking so pretty today. Microfibers are the only way to keep you clean. Gotta keep you shining. You know, keep you looking beautiful always. Because I love you. Oh, is that a scratch? Is that a Who touched my toolbox? Who touched it? Who touched my toolbox? I want to know right now. Okay, so you see in that example that we just watched, that was somebody who's very possessive, possessive about their toolbox. They're so possessive that they will literally probably hurt you if you come near their toolbox. They hurt anything that comes near their toolbox. They're overly protective. Um, this is the first stage when you get a new toolbox of something that you go through. We all do. Okay, so let's look at another example, will you? Let's go check it out. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna take pictures, we're gonna load them to Instagram. Oh yeah, look at that, the lighting is perfect on that. Oh yeah, look at that. Get that spot right there. Oh yeah. I should get a video of this. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at the, look at the, look at the, look at the gleam, right? Look at the glare, or the, the, the glossiness. Look at how pure perfect this looks. I need to get a video of this. This is just too excellent. I need a video of this. Everybody needs to see this toolbox. Oh my God, it's so awesome. So now what we've seen in this segment right there was, this is someone who, um, over social medias, their toolbox. So that means they continuously post pictures. I've been guilty of all these things. And believe me, I don't find them to be anything wrong with them, but it's still, it's, it's interesting. Uh, we all see the pictures and we're all like, yeah, 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 you know, but this is just another example of a toolbox addiction. Hey, baby, what's going on? No, 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 I'm working late at the shop. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's been crazy busy. No, no, no I'll be, I'll be home soon. Uh, just give me an hour. I got to finish up this job right here. You know, it's just, I got to get this thing done. Yeah, it's just, there's, there, it's been busy. We've been slammed today. I mean, it's just been absolutely crazy. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I love you, babe. Trust me, I'll be home soon, okay? You know, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. I'll be there. Just keep, just put my supper in the microwave. All right, love you, bye. Okay, now, in that skit, we witnessed someone who is lying, obviously, because they want to spend more toolbox, time with their toolbox than they do want to spend time with their loved ones. Um, this is another, you know you're a toolbox addict if you go through these things. So, uh, we got a couple more examples to go through, and then we're going to move on to the next one. Or we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get, show you a couple more examples, and then we'll let you determine whether or not you are a toolbox addict. So here's the next skit, and see if you guys can recognize this. Yeah, man, I, the Mac Tools box. There, there's just nothing better out there than that. Uh, you know, Mac Tools is like they're, they're the best, and uh, that's you know when I bought when I made my decision on this toolbox, you know it was like there's there's no way I would get anything else. You know, Mac Tools, they, they've been around forever. They build great toolboxes, warranties, all that stuff, you know. That stuff, you, if you get any other box, you're just wasting your money. You know, toolboxes are, you got to buy a good toolbox because buy, if you don't buy a good toolbox, then you're, you're just wasting your money, man. That's all there is to it, you know. It's just, it's just excuses and everything. When people say, they're like, oh, I need to buy a Snap-on, or I need to buy a Cornwell, or I need to buy a Matco. 
Now, you're wasting money. You should have bought a Mac. Mac is the best one out there, you know. There, I bought this toolbox, and I only got 40 more payments until it's paid off. But I got a hell of a deal on it, you know. So, it's, uh, it's the best toolbox out there. That's all there is to it. Now, that segment was the classic guy that's, you know, he's overpaid. He's buried in the box. He can't get a new one. And this is a guy that's, uh, you know, he's obviously sticking up for his product. And, you know, he just wants to, uh, wants to really pretend that it's the best, even though it may not be, you know. Um, brand, you know, non-sponsored branding, whatever you want to call it. It's, uh, it's just uh, toolbox addiction, you know. That's what this is. That's what it's all about. I'm bringing awareness to toolbox addiction, addiction, and and the the seriousness of how it is. So, you know, guys, we got we got two more skits we're gonna look at, and then at the end of this, you determine whether or not you like it. My co my toolbox is the best toolbox in the world because it's got the latching system. Nobody out there makes a latching system like this box. Cornwell, that's right. They're the best in the world. They have the best latches. If you want to buy a toolbox, that's what you should do is buy a cool one. Because I'm telling you right now, look at that. Wipes right off this paint. It's tough. Box is real rigid. Got great latching systems. Look at that. This ain't no Harbor Freight. This ain't no Snap-on. This ain't no Mac toolbox. This is a Cornwell because it's got an awesome latching system. Look at that. They stay closed. They click shut. That's the best toolbox in the world. I would definitely get a cornwall toolbox because they're the best. All right, guys. So there's another skit. Just a little example of if you've got toolbox addiction. And, uh, you know, <laughs> just a fun little thing we're doing here. Showing you guys what it's like to have toolbox addiction. You know you've all went through it. So we're, uh, we're going to get through. We've got one more skit we want to show you. And... Then at the end of this video, I want you guys to like, comment, share, subscribe, and com or like and comment down below and tell us about what you thought about toolbox addiction. So just uh, hang tight. We're going to have one more skit here. Yeah, man, there ain't no reason you should buy a good, you don't need to spend all that money on a toolbox. I mean, you'd literally buy a toolbox like this. It'll last you forever. I mean, just look at this thing. It holds all my stuff. And I've never done a thing to it. I don't need to clean it. Cost me like twelve dollars. You know, it's uh, it's the best toolbox in the world. I literally spent three hundred dollars on this toolbox, and it's the best thing that ever came along in my life. Look at I keep it clean and organized. You know. Oh, what's that? Oh man, the slide broke. Oh, dang. Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. I'll just, you know, I'll just, I'll just put some, I'll put some zip ties on that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, they're, they're awesome toolboxes. Don't worry. They hold together. They're real tough too, you know. I got them full of, well, it's full of stuff anyway. So, you know, it, 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 this is a good toolbox. You can go pick one of these up, any store, and they're cheap and they're awesome. Yeah, they're the best in the world. All these guys that buy these big fancy toolboxes, they just waste their money. They're dumb. They don't know any better. They don't know anything. So why would you buy, why would you spend like $3,000 on a toolbox? You could buy this for $300 and look at it. This old, this thing's a tank. It's, it, oh, hold on. Sorry. It, it, that, that's no big deal. It shuts. Don't worry about it. All right, guys. So CP the tool addict here. I know I didn't do my normal intro, but this was a little bit different video. Trying something new, just wanted to do a little bit of humor. It might have been a little bit weird, whatever. You know, my point was to get across is that it's just funny to have, like, you know, when you get a new toolbox, it's awesome. You know, I treat this thing like I basically have a diaper on it all the time, you know, and I like keeping my stuff nice, like having nice things. You know, but people make fun of me for that too. And it's, it's all good because I can have a laugh about it. But, you know, I don't, I, you got to be able to have thick skin in the tool world because you just have to. That's all there is to it. There's a lot of opinions that go around. And uh, opinions are basically the tool community's 
biggest uh, uh, biggest enemy. So, anyways, guys, if you like this video and you want me to do more like it and uh, maybe come up with them every once a, once a month, hit that like uh, like button, comment down below, ring that bell, and remember, guys, keep your hands dirty, keep your money clean. Thanks for watching. Have a great one. See you later.